So, episode 4 is mostly focused on Yumi's group reconning and tracking down Gekko and Senko in Gessen Middle School. However, before that, we return to the conversation of Kagura and Fubuki. Uh, Kafuri points out that if Fubuki knows of the ultimate Yoma, then she must be working for it. And then after Kagura turns into adult form, while Fubuki lets out some dangerous aura and proceeds to fight Kagura. Then Senko and Gekko shows up out of nowhere and stops the fight from going any further. So with this, we find out that Gekko and Senko's master is Fubuki. Back to Yumi's group with some shots. <laughs> Yozakura figures out that Gekko and Senko are guessing middle schoolers. Yumi gets some flashbacks of her childhood and it seems Yumi and Fubuki were childhood friends. Yumi and the group proceeds to recon their middle school with hijinks, mainly from Shiki, Bad Balvin, Gekko and Senko. <laughs> Yumi finally confronts Gekko and Senko on the roof and we find out that Gekko and Senko wants to further Yumi's grandfather's Kurokage's teachings and that this is the only belief in justice and that Yumi even being Kuro Kurokage's granddaughter is staining his teachings so that's a huge out to Yumi with that with that the shinobi masters now start but only with Miyabi's and Yumi's group with Homer's group missing due to Asuka's fight with Homer, but considering the preview, Homer is going to get involved, and they they will be back. So, um, there's not much to say about this episode. The main focus is at least giving us a hint towards Gekko and Senko's motives, and how this links to Fubuki. Of of course, the majority of the focus belongs to Yumi's group, with some small screen time to Miyabi and Homura's group, and some cameos from Yuyaki, Leo, and the Meissen University high schoolers. And I'm only speculating this, but it's to do with Fubuki, and how she links how is how she's linked to the yoma considering that she's all bandaged up and we saw her and we saw her aura and the, and the mere fact that she'll let the strongest ninja defeat the ultimate yoma and everything well for me at least it does feel like fubuki harbors or is the yoma that escape from the crater itself. It's just me. She's she has to be either controlling the Yoma or she's a Yoma itself that escaped from the crater. But that's all the speculating I can do for now. Nonetheless, this is an okay episode focusing focusing on Yumi, Giko, and Senko, and a little bit of Fubuki. But that is now finally leading up to Shinobi Masters. Will it be a straight up tournament or will it be hijinks from Gekko and Senko like they always do in New Link? I don't know and the preview doesn't give much out either. So we'll ho hopefully see next week. With that, LA out.